Okay, next last subtopic is determinants of price at density of supply. Okay. Okay, first is. Okay, first is uh, period of the production process. If the production process takes a long time, then the response in quantity supply will be small. Okay, uh, it means the shorter the process of the good, supply is considered as elastic, but longer the process, supply will be inelastic. Okay. Okay, maksudnya kalau lah lagi panjang proses dia tu, okay, proses yang hasil ke tu barang tu, so kita boleh supply as a, as a supplier, supplier boleh supply saja sikit uh, saja barang. So supply will be inelastic lah compared to the shorter the process. Kalau nak hasilkan satu barang tu uh, pendek tempoh dia, okay, proses dia pendek. So supply boleh supply banyak. So supply is elastic. Okay, time frame for supply. Uh, short run supply is inelastic. Example agricultural agricultural products due to insufficient availability of time to organize and adjust supply to demand. But long run, supply is elastic. Example, manufacturing products. Okay. Ini normally kalau uh, time frame ni contohnya agricultural products. So, nak supply agricultural product, it takes time. Okay. So, kalau lah uh, dalam tempoh yang pendek. Okay. Uh, supply, supply tak boleh nak supply yang banyak. Okay. Sebab dia perlukan masa untuk dapat untuk uh, dapatkan hasil dia lah. Okay. Uh, untuk agricultural product okay but jika ada masa yang panjang so supply will be elastic okay number 3 is change in the cost of production if the change in production cost involves small amount of cost then the change in the quantity supply can be in a large amount so supply will be elastic okay if change in cost of production is small supply will be elastic but if change in cost of production is big supply will be inelastic okay kalau perubahan cost tu menyebabkan cost yang kecil sahaja Ya, yeah, supplier boleh supply banyak. So, supply will be elastic. But, if the change in cost of production is big, okay, kalau melibatkan perubahan cost yang besar, supply akan supply sikit sahaja. So, supply will be inelastic. Substitutability of input use. Okay, production that requires specific factor of production, supply is more inelastic. Okay, if input can be easily substituted, sub supply will be elastic. But, if input cannot be easily substituted, supply will be inelastic. Okay, contoh nak produce uh, sesuatu barang tu, contoh contohnya ada satu production cake. Okay, nak buat cake, uh, kalau lah satu cake, cake ni, kalau nak buat tepung A saja, dia pakai tepung A saja. Maksudnya, eh, the input cannot be easily substituted. Okay, kalau buat tepung lain tak jadi. So, maksudnya nak dapatkan input sangat susah, so supply boleh supply sikit saja. So, supply will be inelastic. Tapi kalau lah nak buat cake ni, cake yang B ni, semua tepung boleh pakai. So, maksudnya dia banyak input boleh digunakan, boleh diganti. So, supply will be elastic sebab dia boleh supply banyak. Sebab dia tak gunakan specific uh, input. Okay. So, if the production requires a specific input, supply will be more elastic lah. Boleh supply sikit je lah. Okay. And last is degree of possibility. Dari segi dari ketahanan produk tu. If the, uh, atau ataupun dari segi, dari segi, uh, Cepat rosak ketak barang tu If the product is easily damaged Or has a short expiration date Then the supply will be inelastic Okay, kalau barang tu cepat rosak Cepat expired, so uh, As a supplier, supplier boleh supply sikit Sajalah, okay, if the product uh, Has high possibility, supply will be Inelastic, contohnya agricultural Products, okay uh, Or low possibility Supply will be elastic lah, example manufacturer product Contohnya Barang pertanian, dia tak ada supply banyak-banyak okay, Sebab dia mudah rosak, so supply will be elastic Sama juga kalau perasan Roti, roti uh, Gardenia dia tak supply banyak-banyak Contohnya dia dah daripada Syah Alam, Kinang di Syah Alam Dia datang ke Terengganu Dia tak supply untuk sebulan Tak ada, dia akan datang hari-hari Kenapa? Sebab roti cepat rosak okay, Sebab dia ada high possibility So supply will be inelastic Dia boleh supply sikit saja. So supply for roti gardenia is inelastic lah Compare tu kalau barang tu barang yang ditinkan, barang makanan yang ditinkan, yes, itu tahan lama. Because it has low possibility. Okay, uh, dia tak cepat rosak lah. So, supply will be elastic. Okay, so that's all for chapter, uh, for chapter 4.